Okay, three, two, one. Just want to show you Air Music Transfer User 2, one of my favorite synths, multi tool, even. You can see on the website all the things it can do. But I think just showing you will be the best way of doing it. Um, works on VST, AU, AX. I've used it in Pro Tools, Logic, using it in uh, Ableton, and now Cubase. So, just want to show you it. So, I'll just get rid of this. Let's get it loaded up. Okay, now, this is version 2.04 and it works on the principle of loads of elements of the track will be in here drag and drop them into here and you manipulate them works with loops works with MIDI uh, it's got a synth in there drums it's got an analog type synth electric one it can do chords polyphonic bass notes monophonic and also works as a plugin so you can drop it on a track, feed audio in, and manipulate it. You can record what you're doing at the moment, drag and drop that onto your track. Plenty of inf inserts, effects, grooves, interesting grooves actually. So, let's go. Let's have a look for bass line. Uh, la -la. Here we go. You can preview it just by clicking on it. Robin's famous, that sounds like Robin S. Just plop that on. Let's get it rolling. So down below you can see the MIDI. You can click on these, these are different phrases. Now you can change them. and higher the notes, octave up, revert to its initial state. Now down here you've got an interesting randomizer that you can change the phrase, levels, cutoffs, decays, pan, glide, hit it once, just watch the MIDI notes move. Okay if you don't like it to initial state or you can use the back button okay so we like that one now just up here you can see there's different slots for effects cycles through them you can have them in parallel or serial got a good arsenal of effects pumper like a side chain, side chain effect I should say. Vinyl for the crackle. Interesting beat cutter effect, I'll show you that. Let's do a scratch, press this. You can reorder it. Force repeats. This is more of a live tool. But you can put it on, you can automate it. Now, up here, you can change the actual preset. So, there's loads of presets, look different bass lines from different tempos. And that's the nuts and bolts of where you make the sound in the phrase. And then you've got a phrase sequence here. I'm just gonna get rid of this beat cutter, put a delay back on, yeah, a bit too much delay perhaps, change the mix down, here, phrase sequence, now what's interesting with it, if you don't like these sequences that you can have here, and you find one that you do like here, simply drag and drop, so, I don't know, dirty party bass, whatever that is. Let's play it. Equally, 
change the phrase. Full on randomization. Turn this to make more randomization. Where's it gone? Scroll up and down. Let's have a look for it. There you go. Select some of these. We'll do the cut off. Decay. Change the pitch. Change the starting point. So get rid of it. Let's start again. Robin's famous. Let's add a beat to it so we can see how it does it. Dance drum loops, just put a loop in. Transfuser comes with lots of loops. Basic house beat, I think. Let's drag it in. Similar circumstance here. You've got a slice sequence, got a slicer to change the loop. You can reorder it by just clicking on the randomization. Now this one's a bit of a fussy beat, so I anticipate it'll be a bit rubbish if we do it too much. If we reorder randomize it too much in the reorder. There we go, let's have a listen. That's okay. Change the phrase. Okay. Alt and drag and select this. Now it copies it. Now I'm going to turn that into a bass line. Let's pitch it down. Turn the volume down a bit. Take a bit of delay off. Make it a bit louder. So that adds some weight. some top loops just make it a bit different let's have a look at electronic percussion loops I don't know there's loads let's have a look let's get the beat going interesting let's get it all going too noisy that one, drag it in, you can scroll up and down, minimize them, clicking these little arrows, so I know that the top three are okay, I want to just work on the number four, get it all going, change the volume, okay, now, a couple of extra things that you can do in this groove panel down here. Now I quite like the MPC style grooves. I'm going to put it on a 60% swing, 100%. Now anything in this groove, which is far right, will pick up that swing. Let's have a look, they all seem to be on it. Let's have a listen. Let's deal with that. Let's add some inserts for maximizer on it.
crossbow dragon. Put a limiter on. <coughs> Now I'll put the limiter on the master truck actually. So <laughs> Now you can record what your output is. You can see I'm smashing it. Get rid of the maximizer. Still quite loud. So now it's time to transfer the MIDI over. MIDI 4 track, 3 track, scroll up, MIDI 2, now this is quite a good way of doing it, so I'll just get my MIDI tracks in Cubase, we need 3, three more, call them TR, so what we do, go to the sequence there, just move it across, drag it across now what you must do is then set the MIDI to not trigger the loop but to play the slices people forget that drag it across that's MIDI 3 MIDI 2 just scroll up Okay, so make sure everything's stopped. Just put this on loop. Press play. So the transport in Cubase is controlling it. So what I'm going to do now, change the, the beats, change the phrase sequences. Just make a little 16 bar loop, perhaps. What's this one? Let's really randomize that one. Let's see what that does. Uh, drag it in. Set the loop. Let's do this one. I'll just drag that across. I'll just duplicate those for speed. Oops. drag and finally percussion randomize that a bit okay let's have a listen <laughs> volume transfuser actually acts as the mixer so you have to move the volume and pan here okay now another thing that we can do assign effects to an actual smart knob to then map it into Cubase. So for argument's sake, let's assign the pan to smart knob number one, which is here. I move that knob, that moves the pan. You can see it moving over there. So therefore in Cubase, I can then record some automation by pressing right. Off we go. <laughs> Thank you. 